Hello everyone, welcome back. KJ4YZI Ham Radio Concepts. So we've talked about Thor, we've talked about Domino X, and my playlist has some Hell Schreiber and Olivia and Contestia. How about Throb? Let's talk about the Throb HF Digital Mode, one that you've probably never heard of, and there's Throb and Throb X, but let's look at Throb and see some of the aspects that we can find about this mode, and uh, play with John and give you an idea what it sounds like what it looks like, and uh, hopefully you get out there and just try calling CQ and uh, generate some activity on Throb. This is Ham Radio Concepts. Okay, so Throb. Not much information at all on the internet about Throb mode. So I have a couple pages I'll show you real quick just to, you know, I hate to read off pages. I'll try to give a couple sentences as talking points and move on and show you on the uh, Digital Master software. So the Throb family of modes are MFSK in nature, and they're unusual in that, like DTMF, which are touch tones on your phone, they use two tones at a time. And unique among other MFSK modes, the Throb family also uses amplitude modulation, it's AM, and sometimes sends just one tone. No forward error correction. Difficult to tune, but reasonably sensitive and moderately robust. So that means, you know, if you have an old drifty swan or tube radio, not the best, okay? Me and John were actually testing on the software, and a couple of times we couldn't really get it you know, to decode. We saw it on the waterfall. In fact, the time we got it to decode, though, I went down to two watts, uh, or like 17, 18 miles away. But um, we were down to two watts, and he could see it, and he can decode it finally. But if it moved just a hair in frequency, it would not it would not tune, would not lock on, would not decode anything. So you have to have a real accurate you know, uh, radio uh, to do this. So it must be very accurate. Software will not tolerate differences between transmit and receive frequency. And look at this. Throb is essentially a curiosity mode. So this is really for experimenters, people that just want to see, you know, the bands are open. Let's say we're at the peak of the solar cycle. You know, the bands are just on fire. You can't find a free frequency. You got some friends or you just want to see, you know, maybe this video makes more people get on Throb fire it up at throb one and try at one watt you know and and see if you can do it i mean it's a curiosity mode will it work will it work when others won't will it work you know whenever we'll figure it out so uh another page here links in the description as well has uh, throb here again not much you know it says one of the newer digital modes and uh nowhere near as popular as the other modes like psk and ridi uh of course variations of throb We'll get to that here. So it does say, this page does say, actually quite a slow mode and is therefore quite probably resilient to the effects of fading and, you know, band fading because it's very slow. Although it does take quite a time to complete a contact. Yes, it's very slow. Uh, if we look at the third link on Wiki, of course, Signal Wiki, you know, there's a, a chart here I wanted to show you. So Throb 1, 2, and 4, then Throb X 1, 2, and 4. The difference, you know, is the same symbol rate, same baud rate. Throb 4 is 4 baud, was 4 characters per second. But the difference is Throb 4 versus Throb X4 is about 40 hertz. Um, 144 hertz on Throb 4, 188 hertz on Throb X4. And on the wiki page, you can see uh, an example of what it would look like, you know, with each mode on a waterfall. And notice one mode or one uh, tone at a time and sometimes two but never more than two even if you look here you know you can count it you got two tones transmitting at one time never more than two there's two here two on this line two on this line two on this line then it goes up you know two then you can go here to one so just two tones at one time but they're at the same time so it does sound pretty weird in fact here's what it sounds like if you heard this right here let's call it uh, throb four Sounds a lot different, right? And this does say a unique data mode that relies heavily on DSP technology. So the Throb uses nine tones spaced eight or 16 hertz apart. Throb X, it was just an evolution, uses 11 tones spaced at 7.8125 or 15.65 hertz. So that's uh, all I could find on the internet. And unless you created this mode, there's not much more out there to find. Okay, so let's look at some Throb. Now, Throb is another one. There's a couple of them here in Digital Master. Throb 1, Throb 2, Throb 4, then Throb X. But that is, Throb 1 is one character per second. Throb 2 is two characters per second. We're going to try Throb 2 with John. 
I'm going to call CQ. Now let's see what the uh, speed of this, and I'm at 5 watts right now, but you can see the speed here is roughly 2 characters per second. So 5 watts here for me to John, whereas Domino X wouldn't work really with 5 watts. Uh, this is what this sounds like. Okay, and let's see if John gets that and replies. We're on Throb 2. Okay, there's John's signal. And there he is. 10 watts, okay. John just does not want to comply with 5 watts, does he? <laughs> I'll copy. Right click here, get a call sign. All right, so we're going to try, uh, you can see here what it looks like. We're going to try Thor, uh, Throb 4. Four characters per second at the same power level to see uh, what, the, what the difference is. Now notice Throb 4 is wider than Throb 2. So the little yellow marker got wider. So the received signal should be a little faster in that wider signal. So there you have it. There's your Throb uh, digital modes on HF. Something to play with on the noisier bands, the lower bands. Okay, and uh, do some digital contacts like this. So uh, thanks for watching. Check out the other videos. Got a whole playlist building. Some I've done a couple years ago, and some I'm continuing to get to with this COVID-19. Seven three KJ four YZI.